Hey Robocop fans, how you doing? It's John. Um, Julian luckily mentioned to me that the uh, 6000 Sucks was going to be here at the Peterson Automotive Museum in uh, Hollywood, so I drove out here to actually make this small video for you guys and to see it for myself in person. So I'm going to do like a, a quick walk around of the car. As you can see, some of the details. It almost looks like the windshield is cracked and they tried to like fill it in. And he definitely didn't restore the car, at least not from what I can see. This is um, screen used, so it was in the film, as you can see. Here's a close-up of the tires. Sucks. <laughs> what a name for a car. Um, and then the back over here. Let's check out those big exhaust tips that are coming out. I have to kind of reach for this. And then of course, 6,000. And then the crazy tail lights that they created for this car as you know this one side is different than that side then it's got the massive rear window over here and let's see if we can take a peek inside I'm not sure if I'll be able to seats kind of look worn down a bit Looks dusty in there. Yeah, the seats are kind of just messed up a little bit. I can't see in the back. No, it's too dark to see into the back, unfortunately. But let's take a another look around it. You got the headlights. And that unique hood scoop where it says sucks and over here it's going to have the information of it 2043 Omni consumer products 6000 sucks driven in Robocop 1987 then it gives you the designer based on an old mobile Cutlass Supreme from the personal collection of Gene Winfield. Wow. That gives you some information about the movie, which most of you guys already know, probably. And a screenshot from the movie. And then I look down in here, and it looks like, from what I could see, that's where the radiator is. So the radiator is tucked behind there. And, uh, yeah, and there it is, the sucks. I want to touch this car. Okay, now I could say I touched it. <laughs> it's so stupid, but why not? And this is the other side. I can't, there's another police car parked over here from one, another movie. So I can't get to this side without stepping over the barrier and possibly, I don't know, let's... See what happens if I walk over here. I'm not trying to get kicked out because I just paid like 20 bucks to get in. But yeah, here we go. We can get some more close-ups over here of the back. As you can see, that's pretty awesome. I can't believe I'm seeing this. I did not know that someone saved one of these cars from the film. The last I heard was there was one somewhere on the border of Southern California and Arizona in a junkyard that was uh, used in the film, but uh, just was torn apart. But here it is, RoboCop fans. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So wanted to make this video for my buddy Julian and for the rest of the members of the uh, Robocop fans all around the world group 
So there it is. Just waiting for clearance to get out and uh, cause some havoc. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.